Hello and good evening everyone! Welcome to my Floromancer world. I'm Winry. Yes, letting the world kind of load in here. I haven't been on in a little bit. But I have some progress. As I told you, I was going to be doing some progress between streams. We come over here. We were working on our Livingwood farm last time getting that set up so that it was more of a set it and forget it type of process and I did that it is done so I moved got the barrel that was up up top and the uh, hopper hawk here and it's not perfect as you can see um, but <laughs> that's not a big deal for me believe it or not don't care no big deal um, yeah, so we just have the one pulse. It's doing six logs at a time. And the um, animated torch is turned on, so that barrel is getting wood every so often. I think I have it set for every 10 minutes, I believe. So yeah, and then it gets picked up and put in here. We're at 13 stacks, so that's great. Yay. Um, if we come up here, I also started decorating or, you know, building, designing or whatever. The mana enchanting room. Did I see some movement? Oh, I bet there's a squid in the water over there. Um, the mana enchanting room. It was just a stone room dug out over here. I have decorated it. Woo! Kind of, kind of bright and dark at the same time. I haven't done a ceiling. I will eventually. I've got some white terracotta, the glazed stuff looking like sunbursts. I thought it worked really well with the mana pylons. The petals in the back. We'll put signs on the top saying like, this is for armor and this is for tools and this is for bows and this is for, yeah. So the specific uh, enchants will be sorted based on what they're useful for. So we can find them and they'll go in there. And like I said, I have to do a ceiling yet. I'm not sure what the ceiling's going to have. We've got the infused grass, so it does give a little sparkly effects every so often. You can see the little sparkles. It worked well in here. So this makes me happy to have another room mostly done. Not all the way done, but mostly done. So like I said, ceiling will probably be very plain since it's so bright and busy down below. They'll probably be playing up here. So yes. And then part of the project we're working on today is moving the flower farm. As you know, the flower farm is up here on the river level. Whoop. Over here. So I'm going to be tearing it out tonight and relocating it. This is going to get moved and hopefully, hopefully we'll not only automate the flowers, but the conversion of flowers into petals, because that will be our first step in being able to use the Corporea network to automate our flower creation, like the hydrangeas and the endoflames. Um, we're going to do a centralized location for flower creation. So, as of right now, we have the individual units, like here's one that does hydrangeas and there's one over there that does endoflames. We're going to make them in a centralized location and set it up so that um, the corporeal network is requested every, what is this, five minutes for these for a hydrangea and the hydrangeas are going to be created passively. So they'll be made to keep a certain amount on hand. So that is going to be the ultimate goal for that. So we'll be able to punch this out and push it back so it looks like this side eventually. Right now it's pulled forward so that everything can reach all of the things that need to be reached. But yeah, so where are we putting the flower farm you might be wondering? Oh, we should shut this off because it's probably very broken. Let's, let's put that there. Yeah, I knew the water would be gone. Very broken. Um, let's put the water back at least. Ok, 
Okay. And then... There we go. Alright, so this is turned off. Let's go down here, because this is where we're putting the flowers. We're going to do a hallway for the petals. So I've made the hallway and planned out where the chest or drawers for the petals are going to go. Probably chests. I don't need more than like five or six stacks of petals going at a time. And then I made these azulejo blocks. Um, there's a bunch of them. These here. Oh, I have sheets on. We don't need that block. We just want to look at the recipe here, which is quartz and lapis. So I'm pretty much out of quartz. I went mining for what I have here. And lapis I'm really low at too. So these are the things we're low at. And then to convert them, you just put them in your inventory over and over and over again until you get the ones that you want. So yeah, we don't need these, but whatever. Um... That's the one I want. Which, how many times did I have to do this again? I think I had to do it like seven times. Um, like the pronunciation, huh? That is probably because I have a degree in Spanish and this is Portuguese. But it's still, it's still close enough that, uh, is that it? I don't think so. Well, heck. When I was building it, I knew exactly how many of these to do, and I can't, that one looks like it stacks. Okay. We have something here to show you. This is not my design that I have here started. This I got from The Gems, who did a whole Batania Challenges series through Mod Sauce 2 on Hermitcraft. Um, so I'm getting a lot of inspiration of the way he has set up his automation for Batania. So if you've watched it, it's been a few years since he did it. Um, you'll likely see a lot of the things that he did in my world because I really liked it. It looked nice and I understood the redstone. So again, I'm going to emphasize it that since I don't know redstone, the whole point is not necessarily compact redstone for me. It's that I understand what it's doing. <laughs> so I understand this. So we're going to show this is going to be a chest. It's not going to be a block. Um, we have a crafty crate here that I need to actually make a placeholder for. Um, I need to make this one a pattern, so I need to do this one and set it up. We've got a corporea funnel. We need to put a corporea spark on the top of that. I haven't done that yet. Um, and then we have back here, this is a timer, which I have turned off. Bloop. So it, it blinks when it's crafting because... Um, it's getting a signal, and the signal's gonna come out of a chest into a comparator, and the comparator's gonna read how much is in the chest, and when it gets up, it goes up this um, line of half slabs back up to this block here, and when it lights this block up, it's obviously gonna stop the clock that's here, the red, the repeater into the block that's got a dot of redstone on it into the inverted torch. This is the clock. So, yes, this is going to be my crafting flowers into petals. That is going to be the plan, and every single time, every spot you see a chiseled rock is where one of those flower crafting stations was going to go. We'll have it well lit up so this blinking doesn't cause a lot of lag, because it's always light updates that cause the most lag. <laughs> Um, but yes, we're going to put the flower farm right there. I, I need to dig it out yet, but this is the spot for it. It's going to be in this spot here. And this will be the petal, petal hall. All of petals? Sure. All of petals. And of course it can continue this direction since we're connected to more mining area here we can add more stuff and somewhere like around here is the cave spider spawner so woo on that 
And apparently I have a zombie somewhere that I can hear. So yes, yes, this is what we're doing today. So we're going to start with digging this out and it's going to be relatively easy since I have um, crane miner. We're just going to clear out some space, figure out how big we're going to put it, make it, and cover it with dirt. Um, the jaded amaranthus, I did some tests because I only, I know that in the wiki, the FTB wiki says that the jaded amaranthus does a 9x9 nine nine area around it, but it also does um, the Y level. It goes up 7 above the flower and 2 below, I believe, or is it 6 above and 2 below? I think it's a range of 8. We're not going to use that full range because we're limited on... I would like to only use one drum of the wild, and the drum of the wild has a Y range of seven. So that's, we're gonna try and do that. So I wanna go up here and empty my inventory a bit. It's full of stuff. And we can go from there. Bunch of red stony things. That can go in the corporea. Um, living wood, miscellaneous blocks. Okay, so let's dig out the area, let's place the dirt blocks, and then we'll go grab the stuff from up there and bring it down. The cats are really hyper right now. You probably will be hearing them running around energetically. <laughs> All right, so what I'm thinking what I want to do is put a ring around the room of brick, of the living rock brick. So I need to keep that in mind. And if this is the center, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's how far we want to go. Oh, hello. Yep, we're in that area. We're gonna be dealing with those guys. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Nope, this is the ring. And I go this way. One, two, three, four, and then the ring. Okay, there's the size of the room. And like I said, we're gonna clear it out. The bottom layer, this bottom layer here is gonna be all spawnable space for flowers. And then we're gonna create tiers. So that it, uh, oh, I got another dude. Go away. So that I can get as many flowers as possible. Just about. We're gonna need to light it up. Light it up. Okay. Let's get it lit up. Thank you very much. That's not what I wanted. 
trample. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. There's a start. Um, the next layer. It's gonna go on top. And we'll do too thick first. Some reason my mouse is not responding all for every little movement. Hi, Darkwing. Nice to see you. Um, this is the section the Jaded Amaranthus is going, and the drum. Just a little spot on the inside here. That would work. That... I know we can probably do another two layers up, but I'm trying to think of exactly how many flowers I'm really gonna need. And this might be all I really need. Um, all of that layer plus this layer is still going to require two pulses of the drum of the wild. So if we just did it to here, that's a lot of flowers. All right. Let's get the stuff brought down. We need to empty our inventory of all the cobble. I probably need to smelt it. Actually... Let's go over here. And toss it out here because it'll turn it into sand. Which hopefully the furnace will pick up. Yep. And get some glass out of it. Are you almost full? Yeah, but you're getting there too. So yay. Okay. <laughs> Edward has just reported that he got a 174 for his first game in bowling league, so yay him. 174 is awesome. Alright. So we need in here. We need the flower, which we will make a floating variant. We need the drum. And let's collect this stuff. Okay, and we'll come back for that. Because I want to be able to pick them up. I'll have to use carry-on to pick them up and bring them down. And let's figure this out. If we put the... Oh, I need to make a floating variant of the Jaded first. Oops! Need to remember that. Couldn't do that, but when I first made it, because I didn't have access to glowstone yet. I do now. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> My apologies. My mouse is getting stuck. Alright. Our glimmering flower. Flower. 
and then we can put it all together. All right. So if we put it in this section right here, um, we need to put it right in the middle. Ooh, you know, let's see, if we did the Jaded Amaranthus here, and then the Mana Pool on top, and we could do the, um, we need the two pulse mana spreaders, one here and one here, pointing at let's put the drum we put it here will that no because it hits the mana spreader so we actually could put it up hi Nisi nice to see you and then what we'll want to do is set up the redstone Let's see if I can remember how to do it. We need the hovering hourglass here. And you, and then you and you. These are earthen repeaters. They do one full second before they trigger and then you for the five minutes and let's point you at the drum all right that would work now we need mana so let's get the flowers here we're gonna put them right here at the entrance here let's see Right there is where the hopper hawk's gonna go. I think that's far enough. With mana, it will totally reach. All right, and then <clears throat> we'll do carry on and carry each one of these drawers. So it'll be several trips back and forth for this. Shouldn't be too bad. Ooh. All right, and then I'm gonna need to pause and get something to drink because I am thirsty. I made some coffee. I should drink it while it's hot, right? Um, in order to place that one, I'm gonna need something there so that it places where I want it. Yo, I don't like iced coffee, Nisi. I'm actually not much of a coffee drinker in general. <laughs> My coffee tends to be more creamer than anything else. <laughs> Flavored creamer. Currently it is um, peppermint bark, white chocolate peppermint bark. <clears throat> yep, Nisi does have a star, doesn't he? I've been making cocoa with coffee instead of 
water. Interesting. That said, I drink about three cups of coffee a day. Um, one in the morning for breakfast, one with lunch, and then one usually in the afternoon. Um, I didn't have one this afternoon, so. I don't know if I need the caffeine. I don't. I don't think I do. I'm gonna try to place this one. Ready? Ha! <laughs> You've worked 10 hour days since returning from winter break. Wow, no thanks. <laughs> That is one thing I will never miss. Are you- are, am I seriously? There we go. I had to jump for it. Having my own job- having my own uh, business that provides me some decent enough income to live on. Yeah, I do not miss working and having to work on a schedule that other people dictate. I bet your paycheck should be nice. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Once we get mana over here, this will function. And the next step will be hooking it up to Corporea and then making this 16 times. <coughs> so let's get some mana sparks and see how far away our mana network is. We're going to want a dominant spark augment, so I'm going to want that. We have four corporeal sparks, so that's good. We're going to need those. Um, Let's make a dominant spark augment for the flower farm. And it looks like I'm going to need a fire rune for that. We have to go back to the end soon and get some more ender pearls. Um, I have used quite a few of them with making uh, corporeal stuff, so I need a lot of sparks, corporeal sparks specifically. All right, you are already getting mana, so it's close enough to the network for this to pick up mana. So I don't need to worry about moving my network anywhere. I was pretty certain that um, I'm probably near the input up there somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, see, I'm connected to the input line there. This one here is probably the mana pool that has the alchemical construct or the conjuration co catalyst thing set up. So this will fill up <clears throat> and it'll be ready to go. So let's connect our Jaded Amaranthus to the mana pool, and let's also do the same thing. Oh, this guy's already connected. So we're good to go. Making flowers, I'm gonna be picking them up. All right, next step, getting a whole bunch of these made. <laughs> so let's start with 16 chests and 16 hoppers. and 16 item frames. Actually, we'll probably need 30, we'll need 32 item frames. Do I have item frames in here? No. Um, we have nine hoppers, that's a good start. That was all my iron, oh dear. Oh dear, we're gonna have to go mining. Yay, stuff! Yep, hi. How are you doing, Scoop? 
I don't have any in there either. Well, this will be this will be fun if I need to go around hunting for iron. All right. Can we do this? There's eight. How many? We need to make 16. Uh huh. Oh dear. Definitely gonna have to do a major mining trip and <laughs> get some more. Get some stuff and things! Yeah, I'll collect that iron too. It's just, yeah, painful. All right, more chests. There we go. That, that's how many we, we don't need that many, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we will use that many. Um, did you see the dragon fight, Scoop? Has it posted on the VOD yet, or did you watch it? For those of you who are in the chat room who watched it, did I die? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've posted the episode on YouTube yet. There we go. We're now hooked up to the network there. Exactly. See? See? <laughs> I'm just razzing you, Scoop, since you died. <laughs> How many times did you die? Be honest. times. Yeah, you're right. Not even close. I didn't even get to an opportunity where I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna die. Nope, didn't. Did really well. I'm very proud of myself. And then of course I do end city hunting to look for my first, uh, for my elytra, which I haven't killed a Gaia, so I don't have a Google Tiara. But, um, yeah. I can do corporea stuff now! Corporea all the things! Okay. There we go. There's our chests. And then all the hoppers. I don't have to dig all this out, of course, but I'm trying to do this in some kind of fashion so I don't forget everything I need to do. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. I need the redstone, so I need to make 15 comparators. Gosh, I hope I have the quartz since I used a bunch for this. Uh, 15 comparators and 15 repeaters and 15 torches. Get some living rock. We can start setting the redstone up. But you know, if, you fi if I find an enderman spawner, that I will do. I hope to. Alright, so we have some torches and we have a repeater. We have one lamp. We want those levers. Oh good. I have... There we go, 15. Let's get you and you. And I put the wood away. Okay, let's make that, and then we're going to do comparators. Twelve. 
we need more torches, which means we're gonna need more redstone. There we go, there's the 15 of those. You don't need one, well, yeah, you don't need one because Skyblock, I don't need one! I could make a vanilla Enderman spawner. I suppose. Six. What am I short on? There's 13. I need to just sit down and make a whole bunch of redstone supplies. So I don't have to keep doing this. I need two more. And then we've got enough torches and we might have enough redstone. In not necessarily in this end city towers, I'm gonna guess they spawn in special towers. And then we can put the chiseled blocks away. Um, let's grab a little bit more redstone because I don't know how much I'm going to need. So not necessarily spawning in the end city towers. down into our petal hall and hopefully I can remember how to set this up oh I'm gonna need these blocks Erg. okay The alternate repeater and comparator recipes. These? And they also have alternates for dispensers too, using droppers, so you don't have to craft bows. Alright, let's use that and that as placeholders. Comparator, living wood, or living rock, sorry. And then we're gonna start stair stepping it up. Here, here. Up, there we go. And here is where the repeater goes. And that will go into the block that is into... There's where the redstone lamp's going, and I've got one of those. And then this is the block that goes into the corporeal funnel that triggers the request to craft. And then on top of the repeater is going to be you. And of course you're going to blink and spaz like crazy because I'm first going to need to do that. It burnt it out. Let's try again. There you go. You're blinking. Now you're not blinking. Okay. The redstone is mostly done. <laughs> now we just have to do that 14 more times. Has it made you a lot more confident with redstone? That's my hope too. Because I am very, very inferior with redstone. Um, I have not been very good at coming up with things myself, although I'm very proud to have come up with this myself, with the hopper the two repeaters up there. I mean, it's not complicated, but the fact that I knew how to do this 
Yay. <laughs> um, one, two. I'm wondering if that's too far away. One, two, three, four. Hmm. This dude might be too far up because last time it harvested, it didn't harvest any from the bottom level. Wonder. Can we put it where the torch is and point you down without you having any interactions that are not going to work? I suppose we'll find out. Alright, back to digging out space. Yay, iron. Need the iron. I'll have to collect what's in that room too when I go to build it. Okay. Comparator into a block. And then, oops. One, two, up you go to here. Okay. What's the orchid recipe? There you go. That is the standard orchid recipe. It needs a rune of pride and a rune of greed, which I have barely even made tier two runes. So I haven't made the tier three ones yet. Um, which required blaze quartz for the rune of greed and rune of fire and summer and lavender quartz for the rune of pride. So, yep. <laughs> I'll get it made eventually, and yeah, I want to automate it. I want to automate the harvesting of supplies and automate the smelting of things. So, yep. Someday. Um, put you up four ticks. Torch. And into the front. Oh, totally can do it. Yep. Yep, totally can. Just haven't. Of course, these are picking up cobble. All right, let's go to this side. Um, woo. Yeah, let's do that. Wish there was a way to boost processing of ores. There is. More exo flames on the furnaces. Makes them go faster. I should really be using... Where's my ender chest? Let's use this guy. That way I won't get any cobble at all. And that's that's better. Okay. So over here we need some light. Oh, for ore doubling? Yeah, but you know, Vasky really doesn't like the whole ore doubling thing. So It's not necessary. Yeah. Um, and we'll use, I still need holder blocks. So we'll use dirt as the holder blocks for up here. Yeah. 
Pretty much. That's exactly what he said. Or doubling is dumb. His purpose for this mod has always been to enhance vanilla. And it does. It's awesome. <laughs> doesn't like putting numbers on things. <laughs> it it's definitely true. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright. Yep. It puts out a lot of stuff. So I will be making one. We just I haven't gotten there. Okay. And then this will be fun without things to build off of. This setup is for petals. Yep. Um, did I remember to explain what it does? You might not have been here for that if I did. It, um, <clears throat> It does take a lot of mana, but the fact that this pack requires you to make so much mana, that's not going to be an issue. And if you play on Garden of Glass mode, like 4 Ounce is doing, it's cheap. It's cheaper to make ores with the Garden of Glass than it is um, the other met with the, what I'll be doing. Wow, I put these in the wrong spot, didn't I? Oh boy, let's start over. Getting me down one. These are on the bottom half slabs. Well, I only have thermal lilies on top of that. Um, I do have the sheep ready. I have to color them yet. But we should be able to get the spectrolysis set up here soon. And just have to bulk craft the runes like we do for the thermal lily. So, yeah. You back here. Make it easier. Whoops. And I see more iron, so that's gonna help. <laughs> yeah, automating is always slow. Okay. We need it right here. Right. You left it running for six hours. Well, you have your runes automated, and I don't yet. So, yeah. <laughs> I play the slow game. Do we do only three, and then it goes back? One, two. One, two, and then it goes... Okay. Okay. So, we need to do... Boop, boop, boop. 
And then this one actually needs to go here. Like that. Okay. Mushroom farm? Who needs a mushroom farm? You can scavenge. Um, which you can probably do that too, Falcon Dog. Uh, scavenge. See? If you get a piece of mycelium. <clears throat> yep. I'm gonna do an automated farm. Uh, probably a big mushroom farm eventually. But, uh, yeah. I could do a small mushroom farm with the same setup that I've got going on for like my potatoes. That is doable. Um, auto scavenging is probably not. Well, you need you need mushrooms for the earth rune, Darkwing, and the earth rune is needed for. Um, um, the Thermalily, which again we need to automate in this pack. The Reflausia, which we need to automate in this pack. Um, some of these if you want to make the functional flowers. The Dandelion's going to need it. Oh yeah. And that is only earth rune specific, because you also have anything that needs... Well, I guess you get them back with this crafting, but like the rune of summer, the rune of winter need it, and the rune of wrath need them. So you need mushrooms for the rune of earth for those. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so then we need to do... Oh, I need to put uh, redstone on the top of these, and we need to put another block next to this to put repeaters on. Oop. This is where a form of flight would be nice. What are your opinions on duplicating blocks? If it's in the game to be able to be duplicated, I'll do it. The Reflausia, yes. You can't give it the same flower over and over again. You have to at least alternate the flowers. Okay. Let's do our... Um, Blocks up there. That's gonna be fun. Got a new graphics card yesterday, did you, Darkwing? There we go. Um... Let's do this. Duping TNT would be good. Why are you hoarding gunpowder? Make flint into gunpowder.
Or, yeah, a creeper spawner, which I haven't found one of those either, but I've not been looking, so... That's true, you do have a very effective spawner since you're in a skyblock world. Loki? No. Down. Gravel is a pain on skyblock? Why is gravel a pain again? You only need one. <clears throat> just dupe it. Four ounce. Just dupe it. It's cheap to dupe. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. And then you can use the tiny planet that I've been using for my um, living rock and living wood to break the gravel to occasionally get flint and then you drop the flint yep see there are other options yeah i know but i was just explaining there are other options out there you don't have to all right let's see if i can get up there now This is going to be a challenge. Do it the hard way. Ah! Come on. <laughs> Let me back up. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be lots of fun. While I'm up here... Parkour course, exactly. Because flying, flying, I can't do yet. And now I have to actually get up there. Oh. Alright guys, I'm going to take my quick five minute break and feed the cats. I will be right back. Right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 